Hey guys, let's head over to Walgreens together. I'm gonna share with you all digital coupon deals. I also have, of course, a $10 challenge for you guys, sharing with you two transactions that you can do using all digital coupons and how you are gonna be able to grab a bunch of different types of products for $10.79 plus taxes, little over $10, but close enough. And there's really, really great deals that you can do this week. So stay tuned. I'm gonna share all of that information with you in this video. And if you are new here, take a second to hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you. Yesterday in my CVS haul, I announced the winner of the $25 gift card from my giveaway. So if you haven't checked that out yet, see if you are the winner. I haven't heard from them yet. I will link that video at the end of this one so you can check it out and you might be the lucky winner of the $25 gift card. Also, I'm super excited. We have 20 people now enrolled for my three day couponing workshop. If you're ready to take couponing to the next level and really learn how to find deals on the products you need, how to go through the weekly ad, we're gonna be talking about breakdowns, coupons, and day three, bonus day, we're talking about how you can coupon like a pro. I wanna teach you guys how to save $100 in three days. And the holidays are right around the corner. So you wanna start learning how to save now, you'll have five, six, $700 saved up. That way you can cover holiday gifts, travel, meals, the whole nine yards that comes with the holiday season, which is really expensive. So if you guys wanna enroll and register, that'll be below in the description box. It's gonna be on um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, starting August 30th. It'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time each day and they will be recorded. So once it is done being um, live, they will be recorded and I will be emailing them out to everyone at the end of the three-day workshop. That way you can watch the videos, rewatch the videos as many times as you want. Make sure you get all of those key strategies. That way you can start saving money immediately. Let's head over to Walgreens and start grabbing some great deals and work on our $10 challenge this week. The first deal we're gonna do in our $10 challenge, you already know, it's gonna be some oral care and these are gonna be free. Love a good freebie. So they are buy four, get a $6 register reward and select ones are only $3. Hopefully you can find four products that are $3. I have three oral B that are right here. And this little mouthwash, super, super cute, 250 milliliter is also $3 and it is included. Both of these work with this $6 off four digital coupon. Now there's two separate six off four digital coupons. So I would obviously click both of them just to make sure, but make sure that you're scanning them both on the Walgreens app and that they're both attaching to the same $6 off four digital coupon. So you don't have any issues at checkout. So four of them will be $12 minus a $6 digital coupon. You'll pay $6, get back a $6 register reward, makes them all completely free. Then we're gonna pop over here to the Colgate section and grab some toothpaste. So these are $4, buy two, get a $4 register reward. So I'm gonna grab two of them. Then we have a three off two digital coupon. You'll pay $5, get back a $4 register reward, makes them 50 cents a piece. A really cheap deal on hair care using only your phone is on L'Oreal l -Vibe this week. So they're two for $9. Then in the Walgreens app, you're going to clip this three off two digital coupon. This is a manufacturer digital coupon. There's also a separate three off two store coupon. Notice how it says with my Walgreens. That's how you know it's a store coupon. So they will stack. Makes your final cost $3 for two bottles or just $1.50 a piece. The last thing you're going to grab is these baggies. So the complete home are buy one, get two free. So we're going to grab whatever three sizes that you want. They work amazing, especially these huge ones. Let's go over your first transaction. Total for all of these products is going to be $21. Then you have a $3 off two manufacturer, $3 off two store coupon, and a six off four coupon. That saves you $12. You'll pay $9 plus taxes for all these products. Then a $6 register reward will print for these that we're gonna roll in our second transaction. So this is your second transaction. So type in your phone number, hand the cashier all the products to scan. They're gonna scan the products, then hand them the $6 register reward before they hit total. They have to scan that, then hit total, and then the three off two digital will come off, leaving you to pay $1.79 plus taxes out of pocket. And if you have any Walgreens cash from like last week's deals or previous, yes, you can use that as well. You'd be able to use up to a dollar's worth. You'll still get back the register reward for the Colgate. 
So that makes your final cash cost for all of these products just over $10. You'll be at $10.79 plus taxes. Not bad for a great variety of products. Let me know in the comments what deals that you do for your $10 challenge this week and if you have any questions. One of the questions I get all the time is, can I use Walgreens cash on my first transaction? And the answer is yes. I just tailor this as if you've never done a couponing haul or anything at Walgreens before and you're starting with no rewards. But yes, on the first transaction, you'd be able to use up to five dollars in Walgreens cash. Here's a deal on cortisone. If you need any for like a first aid kit, they are buy two, get $3 in Walgreens cash and they're buy one, get one half off. So grab two of them. I don't see any coupons or anything like that that you could use, but you can submit to Ibotta for $2 back each. And you're getting back the $3 in Walgreens cash it makes it $2 and 11 cents per cortisone, which is a really good deal. I have a really good deal for you guys on um, stationary products and back to school products in the printable breakdown. So definitely check it out. I was going to try to do it in store, but my store doesn't have a lot of the products that I need um, to be able to match with the I bought a rebates and things like that. So check it out in the printable breakdown. And there's a scenario where you will combine the spend 20, get five. So it is an in store only deal plus the digital booster. If you haven't used it yet, that only works on stationary for spend 25, get 10. So yeah, definitely check that out. If you have a baby shower or anything coming up or you need to stock up on diaper rash cream, this deal I would do online. It's 20 cents cheaper, it's $8.79. Then you can clip the $2 digital coupon that is a store coupon and you'll be able to submit to Ibotta for $4 cash back, makes it $2.79, which is a really great deal, especially if you're gonna be putting this into like a baby shower gift basket or something. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So whenever I put the whole gift basket and everything together, I'll make sure that I do a little YouTube short or a video for you guys. The next deal you're gonna grab is on Dial Body Wash. We haven't had a deal on Dial in months. So if this is a product that you like, definitely stock up. So they are two for seven, buy three, get a $5 register reward. So when you buy three, it's gonna total you $10.50. Then we have a two off two digital coupon. So clip that, you'll pay $8.50, get back a $5 register reward, makes it $3.50 for three bottles, which I think is a pretty good deal. The next deal we're gonna stock up on is Venus and Gillette non-disposable razors. So in store or online, they are buy two and you're gonna get back $10 in Walgreens cash. So I'm gonna grab one of these Venus razors for $10, clip the $3 off one digital coupon. Now I clipped this coupon a while ago, so it may not still be available, but definitely double check your coupon folder. Then you can grab one of the razors that are $12. In store, I'm only showing this one is $12. And there is a separate $3 off one digital coupon. So again, you can do this in store or you can do this online for curbside pickups, the same pricing and the same rewards back. So total for both of these is $22. We have $6 in digital coupons. So you'll wind up paying $16 out of pocket, getting back $10 in Walgreens cash, makes them just $3 a piece, which I think is a really good deal for these. This is one of the transactions I'm gonna do today. If you have the digital booster for spend 25, it gets $7 in Walgreens cash. Here's an amazing all digital deal that you can do. Now, not every account did get that booster, unfortunately, but definitely double check. So total for all of these products is gonna be $29, but we have a three off two store coupon. So that counts against your spend total. So now after the store coupon comes off, you're at $26, which is still over the $25 mark. So we're good to go and we'll get back the Walgreens cash. The rest of the coupons, we have $12 worth. So we'll pay $14 plus taxes out of pocket. You can pay with manufacturer register rewards. And for this scenario, you would only be allowed to use $1 in Walgreens cash. Then I'm gonna get back $7 in Walgreens cash from the digital booster, $6 register reward from the Crest and Oral-B, and a $4 register reward for the Colgate. Makes all of this free and a $3 moneymaker. All right, we are back from Walgreens. Um, checkout was kind of a pain. The six off four digital coupon for the Crest and Oral-B would not come off no matter what. So he tried it once, it didn't come off, he voided it. Then I was like, just ring in four of these Vivid toothbrushes. That way it's for the same product. I scanned it, it shows it's attaching, it wouldn't come off. I don't know why. So he manually entered that in for me, which was great. But then I forgot because I was like doing a bunch of things. I forgot to ask him if the register reward machine is on and printing and it was turned off because it was out of paper. And when it's out of paper, it'll literally just beep. 
It's not like it gives you like a little boop boop. No, it just beeps. It'll, it'll beep for the rest of eternity, which is obviously super annoying. So most cashiers just unplug it instead of like refilling the um, paper. So then I heard there was a glitch going on on the Oral-B or the Crest. I can't even confirm or deny if it's still working, not working because no register reward printed because it wasn't turned on. So he did give me back the Walgreens cash, which is great. It was just so frustrating because I specifically bought those products to see if the glitch was still working so that I could let you guys know that. Anyway, what are you going to do? So here's your tip. Make sure you always ask, is the register reward machine on and is it printing? Very important. Okay. So let me share with you my transactions. Okay. Sorry. I had a call come in. So what I did is two transactions. Now, originally I had a big transaction built up because I was going to use a paper booster, stack it with the digital booster, but the products that I needed weren't available. So instead of trying to force the transaction to work, my out of pocket was going to be way too high. You guys know I want a low out of pocket. That is key to saving low out of pocket. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to ditch the paper booster. I don't need to be at $40 worth of product value. So I did the transaction that I showed you guys. Um, and of course I can't find that receipt. Where, oh, there it is. Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So I got the Oral-B, the Colgate and the Alvive. The, here's the two for nine for the Alvive. I can't read this backwards today for some reason. Hold on. Okay. Is this just me or did the three off two store coupon not even come off? Cause usually it shows it right here would be the store coupon. And I don't see any of that. Um, it just says the my Walgreens savings of 99 cents, but that's from the sale price. So I don't know. That's weird. Here's a $5 manufacturer register reward and a $4 register reward. Here is three off two for the Colgate. These two did not come off. So he manually entered them in for me. That's why it says, um, MFG coupon and not e coupon. If it says e coupon, that means it's an internet coupon. So total was $8 plus taxes. So I did swipe my card for that. Then I got back $14.29 in Walgreens cash. Now, $7 of that was from the digital booster. Um, and I can't remember off the top of my head what the other $5 is for. So I'm gonna have to look into that and I'll put a excerpt on the screen right here if I figure it out by the time I'm finished editing this video. But like I said, the register rewards didn't print. So he did give me back another $10 in Walgreens cash, which was really nice. Now I was going to do the dial in store as part of the spend 40 with the paper booster and all that jazz. I was also going to do the, um, stationary deal on all the products for back to school, but they didn't have the products that I needed. And I don't know why, but this was super weird. So these on online on the, um, on the app, online website, whatever, these are showing that they are like on clearance for 384, but they're still buy one, get one half off. When I scanned it in store, it's the exact product. When I scanned it in store, it's showing it's 899, buy one, get one half off. Well, obviously that's a huge difference. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to do this for curbside pickup, but then you have to obviously be at $10 in products, um, after coupons to be able to do curbside pickup. So I threw on the dial body wash online because it gives you back Walgreens cash instead of a register reward. So I was like, no worries on that. So these are 389 buy one, get one half off. There's a dollar 50 off two digital coupon and you can submit to Ibotta. I got $4 cash back $2 each. So it makes them like, I don't know, 19 cents for two of them or something really, really good deal. So here is that transaction. So I grabbed the dial and the BIC. Here's the um, dial digital, the big digital. I rolled $5 in Walgreens cash. I could have done more. I just didn't want to. Um, so I paid $8.89 if I'm reading that correctly. Then I got back $4 from Ibotta for the BIC. So my final cost was $4.49 for these products, which I think is a really, really great deal. I need to figure out where I can donate all of these um, stationary products from because I have like an entire box of pens and pencils and highlighters and erasers and things like that. And I really want to donate it to a local school, but I want to make sure it's for like a teacher who really needs it. Not, Hey, I have plenty of products, but more for free is great. You know? So I'm going to really look into that and I want to make sure that I can donate it to people who need it. That way they're not just sitting on my shelf. You know, I'd rather kids be able to use it and things like that. So I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted on how I figure that out and where I'm going to donate it to and stuff. 
If you guys have any questions or anything, make sure you drop a comment. Let me know so I can help you guys. And don't forget, register for that couponing workshop. If you really want to dive into couponing, learn how to master it so that way you can get products you need for super low out-of-pocket cost. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next time.